Wake up with Davina and Fareed on Capital in the Morning Show. Uh, at 26 minutes to 9 right here on your best mix of music, 98.4 Capital FM, as we have a chat with the founder, the creator of uh, this incredible radio station, 98.4 Capital FM. And the reason many of us still have or even had a chance at a career, uh, that receptionist I was talking about mm. uh, was a receptionist here, uh, and she she answered the phones, and I'm not sure if it was, it was you, Linda, or Phil, but you heard the voice one day for some strange reason and put her on air. That receptionist was none other than Caroline Matoko. If you no. can believe it. Yep. She, let me tell you, she was such a bad receptionist. <laughs> <laughs> and yet became the, 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 thought, the official queen of radio. Yeah. Yeah. And and where is she now? So you, you, you just heard her and you were like, actually, you're yeah, wasted. I had a voice. <laughs> I ha- I have ear for for voices, it's crazy. and therefore you know, like Freed, like like Caroline, like Joe Tunis, like all of these people, yep. you know, and it's very important. Wow, it's That's incredible though, a yeah, receptionist, and probably probably in her mind was thinking, this is what I'll probably do for the rest of my life. Yeah, true. Yeah, Kenya's Oprah. Yeah, started here, and she is larger than life. Well, she's probably one of the most famous women. In Kenya, if not East Africa, 100%, yeah. 100%. even in the States, which is very well We're, known. So you have started a lot of these, along with people like Zane Vergy, mm-hmm. who went from here to become to work for CNN yes. and become a sort of an anchor, a, yeah, yeah, an anchor yeah. presenter. Joe Tunis, who went to work in uh, yeah, Fox Radio, and and uh, your sister, who works for Sky, uh, mm-hmm. Kimberly, as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So, uh, big company. We're going to be uh, playing that game a little bit later. We've got some more voices for you. But <laughs> how? So there's this. There's this, in my mind. There's a, a, a skinny little blonde thing running <laughs> around Nairobi CBD in 1996, going, "I'm going to start a radio station to play rock because I want to hear rock." How did you fund all of this? You're telling me that the the the, the doors were imported from Scotland. Like, how did you begin to put this all together? Well. Th- you know, we I had fellow shareholders who didn't want really put any money into it. So I worst don't kind think, of shareholders. I don't, yeah, they really <laughs> are the worst kind of shareholders. And um, but they sort of wanted to be a part of it. But because there, I, no one had set a precedent before with radio, I had to go and borrow the money. So I went round with my my skinny legs and <laughs> went to I don't know how many banks and and got turned down by most of the banks. And eventually, I found one bank. NIC Bank, thank you, which is now NCBA. Yeah. Thank Aww. you so much that actually agreed to give us the money and start the station. But the interest rates at, the, at that time were something like 24%. <laughs> it was huge. And I borrowed, I think then it was about 36 million shillings what? to do this project, which was a lot of money then. Wow. So we had to make it work. So although it looked fun on the outside, it wasn't always so much fun on the inside. No. And we had to launch in September. We had to launch. And our launch party was one of the most amazing parties I think I've ever been to. Where was that? At Carnivore. <gasps> we did a launch <sighs> on, the, on, on the 16th, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> and I think we had something like 20,000 people turn up. I mean, we had standstill of traffic all the way up in Gong Road. People coming. And most people will remember that day yeah that a hardcore sort of capital listeners i'm sure they we, will. we've had a lot of comments on twitter during this whole birthday month of people saying they remember the launch people that have been listening for 25 years and we say once you start listening to capital uh you never change radio stations that's another beautiful thing as well we're not we're not for the fickle uh that's for sure now you you talk about you know you changed people's lives and careers voices that became you know household names that went on to do big things globally etc cetera, etc cetera. but also that that model of radio that it's fun and it's not just this information, you know, mouthpiece. This is actually something that can be fun. From the commercials that were made here, from which, you know, we won't talk about the particular ones, but I've won a few awards. Yes, that's right, with, with some of the ads. It's so true. You know what? For me, creative, I don't have creativity. That's your job. And you have to make something informative. You have to make it entertaining. And comedy, to me, is one of the biggest biggest pulls so capital was always about comedy and fun and and making people laugh and i think we even started comedy night at carnivore and we got involved with comedy night it was really important and i think phil contributed a lot to that yes absolutely absolutely if you're going if you want people to listen you have to make it entertaining you have to make people talk about it when they get to the office or when 
they get home and they say do you did you hear capital this morning oh my god <laughs> did you hear what they were talking about it's so important and then of course the advertisers will come and you'll make money so yeah, that's natural. true. And, and and we live by that. Phil used to call it a uh, water cooler or a coffee machine conversations. You get to the office and you talk about what you heard on the way in. One of Phil's biggest uh, training tools was if you can get that guy who's pulled into his office parking at 8.30 to stay in the car till 9, then you've done your job. And that was something that we always aim to do. So that guy parks his car. He's half an hour early and he doesn't go into the office. He sits and listens to the radio for the, the rest of that half an hour. And and, and uh, to be perfectly honest with you, I know for a fact I wouldn't be here without Capital, obviously, but also Phil Matthews and his ability to to get the best out of you, not in always the the, the most traditional manner, but to get, to get the best out of you. But that must have come down from the top, from from what you expected from, from him and, just, and his people. Yeah, if you give people the freedom to be creative, they just go for it. And then if they if they don't, then, you know, it's time for them to go yeah. and someone else to can come go to in another and be <laughs> so you guys watch out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and let me tell you, three months, Phil used to say, three months and people will forget your name. That's a fact. Once you leave a radio station, three months, people will forget your name.